Meanwhile, there is no wind since we started sailing and a big dark rain cloud just on our course. Is it Atlantic Ocean or it's still Southeast Asia? When I see him wearing this jacket, I immediately imagine how he crossed the Atlantic. And we safely arrived back to Thailand uh, on a very beautiful island called Kolipa. We we heard a lot. It's kind of a small version of Similands. Uh, but it's closer Today we are super tired to go ashore, but tomorrow definitely we will explore a little bit the island Maybe we will stay two three days. We will see. No hurry And me I'm going to my little hole Because today is day of editing. I need to tell you guys what's going on with our story and what about the fish? Bird caught today a barracuda. I made marinade for a couple of hours. And now it's time to fry it. Look at this. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Teamwork. You catch, I cook. Just on a boy here in Kolipe. Even got some neighbors, but it's a lovely place. But now it's dinner time and cold beer time. Kolipa impressed me by two moments. Incredibly clear water of rare turquoise color I've ever seen in Thailand. Along with the white sand, it indeed reminded me of Simalans or, or even Maldives. Maybe out to boy to saw amazing places. Yeah, yeah but yeah. what is in it? Yeah, but right here.
the second impression was about a huge amount of long tail boats. Hundreds of them have been docked along the coast, definitely more than the actual amount of tourists. And that's how we go to the bar. After a day spent on the beach, we had a lovely night at a very cozy, authentic bar. Perfect end of the day. Just another island, we thought. After three weeks, we are going home. Tonight we have to be on pocket. And uh, maybe three times just for this time we put the cell up. And today is that lucky day. Bigger one than yesterday. Okay, you need a knife. No, 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 no. Please watch carefully, and I hope it will help you to avoid the mistake we have done. One of my greatest fears is uh, having a fire accident on the boat. Theoretically, you are well prepared for such kind of situation. You have uh, the fire extinguishers, you know where they're placed on the boat, along with other equipment, you know how to use it. You take a course about fire prevention and the, the safety rules, but the real life is full of unexpected surprises. We've been sailing towards Phuket. Made already half the way and at lunchtime I went to the galley to prepare some food. So I was cooking lunch. A little snack, little tortillas. I need to fry some vegetables and suddenly vegetables stop to fry on the oven. So I have to check what's going on. No guys. I switch it off, switch it on. No guys. Apparently our canister is our tank is empty and I asked bird to change it. We have two propane gas tanks on board for cooking, which lasts around three months. Each of them is around about 10 kilos. Actually, it's quite easy to change them, but this time something went wrong. And we change, and when I switch on again, it was a strange click sound. Fire did be here, and then huge fire. Suddenly, I heard Elena screaming from the inside, and uh, of course, I rushed to her to check what's going on and the whole oven was full of fire and the flame like 20-30 centimeters high. I was completely shocked, got panicked and forgot what side I turned the regulator. We didn't know the gas was still open and maybe we had a leak on the boat right now. Next moment I ran to grab the fire extinguish and open all hatches in the salon and in the boat's house. This. Right, if the gas was leaking, that I doubt, but we weren't sure. It's heavier than air and it will collect on the floor level. I wasn't sure about the problem. It could be the valve, so maybe the oven was broken. I just bought a new valve and the first time I used this one, and had no idea that there are different types of this kind of wells. Someone still watch out. So, what was the problem? Um, I figured out a little bit later because there are two types 
of valves. I just bought a new one and had no idea that there are high pressure and low pressure valves. I bought the wrong one. I just installed it, a brand new one and this is why we had a very high flame because of the high pressure of gas which is very dangerous because fire on board no one wants to have and that can go very wrong quite fast. And after Bert changed the valves, I was struggling with myself because I was so scared to turn it on again. So I had to make it. Yes? Oh my god. No. Yes, working. pressure valve and uh, this was a high pressure valve. Okay. Now I know that there is a difference. Well prepared. Go to put it back. Maybe not. After lunch. After cooking. We never know. I'm kind of afraid of this right now. The lesson what we've learned after this accident. Uh, first, try to avoid cooking on the stove while passage. There are a lot of ways to prepare some snacks without using the fryer. Valves can be different. Uh, I had no idea because they all look similar to me and uh, in the shops also no one told me or asked me about for what do I need it. Anyway, we learned and I hope uh, you don't make the same mistake as we did. Um, Again, better ask twice than uh, figure it out by yourself. Otherwise, you have to learn it the hard way and maybe in the middle of the ocean where no one can help you. It was a long day, but we safely arrived to Phuket. Oh God, just look at these colors. And do you see Big Buddha? Just over there. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please give us some comments and some hearts. And subscribe if you want to follow our journey. See you next time.